Hey, look, we're back. And as you might notice, this is Delta Room Chapter Two, because we're not doing Chapter One. I've already played Chapter One, and I would have played Chapter One for the channel. But Toby Fox is out here being like, "Hey, on the 15th, hey, I'm dropping out my uh, next. I'm dropping out the next chapter of my game in two days. What? What? Yeah, here it is. Bye." And literally two days later, 17th, here's the new chapter of the game because. Who cares about seeing if your players are ready? Let me just randomly drop entire fucking sections of my game. Oish. Either way, I'm not going to play chapter one because how was I supposed to know this was coming out? Instead, I'm going to do a synopsis of his previous game. I'm going to do a synopsis of chapter one, and then I'm just going to go straight into two. So, in his first game, uh, Undertale... I'm pretty sure everyone, their mother who's played other town knows the story of it at this point. But you are a human child who fell into the underground of monsters. A long time ago, monsters and humans lived in harmony. Eventually, there was a war that started. And because of humans' ability to, like, have will and determination and souls, they were able to um, defeat the monsters. And it's, a bit, it's eventually figured out this concept of determination is the concept of literally being able to save the game and continue or constantly be able to come back to life and keep fighting on. So it's it's a meta it's a meta narrative game that kind of showcases like it know the, the world or certain characters know they're in a game world and that's why they're able to abuse and kind of cheat the system in a way because of the concept of being in a game world. Um, so your character Frisk also falls into this underground and it's a fa and you find out that the uh, king of the monsters um, is trying to collect hearts to break into the uh, human world and get revenge on the humans. Later as you, as you progress to the game you reason you fi eventually find out why you find out that actually one of the humans that fell in a human named Chara, the king and queen of the world were actually very kind and nice people and they actually adopted that the child who fell in and they became like a surrogate sibling to their child uh asriel and they were just a nice happy family but because chara was such a just cruel and evil human being human little child she i think it's a, i'm not sure if it's supposed to be a he or a she they manipulated um like orchestrated events that would get asriel killed and Chara effectively caused it. And when Asriel got killed, uh, Asriel and Chara's souls fused together into a monster. And they eventually made it back to the underground. But obviously, they didn't know. Eventually, but eventually, they get found when the king and queen, Asgor and, and, and Toriel, found out their child children were dead. They kind of fell into despair. They got to, they uh, they fell into despair. They got divorced. And Azriel set forth his motion and plan to, like, break into the human world and get revenge, effectively. However, by the time your character get, falls in, you are Frisk. It's kind of heavily implied that he only said that to, like, inspire the monsters. And, but in honest, all honesty, he's just a very kind and gentle man. And it's like, I don't want to do this. But I have to keep give keep giving these my, my monsters under me hope, you know? Um. Uh, so... You meet the fusion of Asriel and first and uh, Asriel and Char really early named Flowey, and it turns out Flowey is still this cruel, evil, demented being. Event at first though, because they were part human, they actually had the concept of determination, aka being able to save and reload and stuff like that. But they grew bitter and hateful to it because it's like my parents never remember me because they just know me as this flower, and every single time I reset, I become more and more jaded to the world. So instead, I kill them all instead. But your determination is stronger than his because you're the player and you're able to like override his ability to save. You play through the game and you have two options of how you could play. You could play it like a general JRPG, which I feel like a lot of people did because it was like, well, I mean, they're monsters, so why should I care? And you can just kill them indiscriminately. But as you play through the game, you very quickly find out, wait a minute, even though they're monsters, they do have feelings. They have things they care about. These are these they have emotions just like how I have emotions. So if I just kind of kill them, I'm just a murderer. So you can eventually so instead you can choose to play the game on a pacifist route. And depending on which way you go, the game changes. If you play on a genocide route, the monsters are all fucking running for their lives because someone's literally coming around and indiscriminately going around killing them. And the thing about playing in um as a playing genocide route is if you go genocide route you have to hard code go hardcore go genocide route because you literally have to go out of your way to murder every single creature they will literally be hiding away and you will have to like go and find them and keep killing them to eventually get to that point 
to get like the genocide route whereas the pacifist route is like all right i'm just not gonna fight you you don't want to die i don't want to die let's just, just just hug it out man i think that is a straight up an option to win sometimes so i think the canon ending is supposed to be the pacifist route but if you go the genocide route chara then appears and goes like huh you're just as evil as me uh i bet you want to keep killing and if you say no she effectively takes over your game file and, del and almost and deletes it in a like a almost metagur solid fashion or like in like how they think you make you think they like deleted your save files and shit um but yeah that was the first game in the second game delta rune it is an alternate reality or alternate timeline apparently where it seems like the monsters and the humans never had their splits the monster queen one of her things that she always wanted to be in the last game was a school teacher so she happens to be a school teacher in this and is your mother and she's taking care of you and you have your older brother who is that goat that fused with the human Azrael. you don't see him in the game because it's implied he goes up to college but you're going to school and you know you have normal school problems and the school bully Susie is you know being the school bully tormenting not just you but also tormenting other characters who were in the last game like the scientist character in the last game is the school teacher for your class in this game and she's like, oh man, where's my chalk? Turns out Susie is literally eating the chalk so the teacher can't teach. So the teacher asks you, hey, can you go get Susie and go get chalk? I'm too much a little bitch to do it. So you do that and eventually you and you and her fall into this, into an alternate world, almost kind of like, an, almost effectively like Narnia or like, it's or Alice in Wonderland is probably a far better example where um you meet this little this little prince guy who's like oh man you guys must be the people in the prophecy prophecy yes we will have a calm boy a calm gentle looking boy with a sword and a monster a brutal looking warrior monster with an axe and the, the dark uh, prince of darkness that's me we're gonna save this world and free it Susie's like that sounds stupid as shit because you know she's a bully um as you go on you eventually meet your foil in the game of lancer who is basically all the main enemies are like are suits of cards and he looks like a kind of like a mixture between sans the skeleton and a spade and he's like comedic and jokey and he's like oh yeah i'm totally evil but at the end of the day he kind of comes off as absolutely evil where it's like that evil where that's like kind of a joke quote unquote but um as it goes after you beat him, by the way, or after you keep going in the story, eventually Susie's like, you guys are lame as shit. I don't want to be a good guy. I'm going to enjoy the villain side. So then she joins uh, Lancer and starts messing around with you in like a kind of not evil, but like messing with you way. And there's even points where it's like, oh, we're just taking a break. Should she be trying to like stop us? Yeah, whatever. But eventually she becomes a better person after her friendship with Lancer. As you approach the castle more and more though, uh, Lancer's dad is evil and is like, if you meet my dad, he's gonna try to kill you guys. It's not the prophecy. So I actually kind of like all you guys. So maybe I'm just gonna lock you in the dungeon. Don't worry, but lock you in the dungeon forever. But we can still be friends and go hang out and stuff, right? Obviously, you break out the dungeon, and Susie and Susie has to fight him alone. But Susie doesn't want to hurt him because she's become friends with him. Eventually, you go meet the king and you go beat the king. Now the cool thing about Deltarune is that you could play it like your standard JRPG, right? You can just fight all the monsters, or you still have the option to let them run. And unlike Undertale, where it's like you need to go all pacifist or all uh, genocide, if you go the genocide route or the pacifist route, the ending doesn't change all that much. In the pacifist route of it, where you helped all the monsters, uh, all the monsters at the end help you take down the king, as opposed to the other route, where it's like they're kind of scared of you. They're thankful that you did this, but they're kind of scared of you. Eventually, you make it back to the real world after all this, and Susie's like, let's let's be friends, man. Let's We want an adventure. However, at the very end of the first chapter, um, your character, whose name is Chris, gets flung out of bed, and you reach into your chest and rip out your soul, which is that red heart, and fling it into a birdcage. You then flip out a knife, and you have that same evil look in your eye as you did, as Chara did in the first game so yeah that's where it ended off that was the beginning and here we are almost 10 minutes late later finally able to play chapter two yes i do want to play the cyber world delta Room. oh there's also a really difficult as fuck secret boss in the last game called uh jevil uh, my name will be Chris, because that was the name of the character in the last game. Yes.
Chris? Chris? Honey? Are you awake? Is my soul still in a cage? What? Wait! Is that a... A knife? Oh no! Chris, did you eat the pie? It was your knife in the empty tin, is it not? Oh, thank God! Oh, I thought you might have started the game already of killing Toriel. Oh my God! Oh, I just noticed something. Look at all the awards that Azriel's gotten, and then look how dumpy my side of the room is. That's depressing. Oh, Chris. Am I gonna have to lock the oven again? Lock the oven? Well, hurry to bed. It's time for school. Yo, where's my soul, though? Uh, it's a birdcage. When the door's closed, there's no escape. Um, where's my soul? Is that a blood? I hope that's not a blood stain on the ground. It's stained. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hmm. Close drawer. Your bed. There's five dollars in your brother's drawer. Take it. No! I'm not taking my brother's money. It isn't yours after all. Underneath the bed is an old cartridge of Cat Peter's RPG. Caddy and Caddy can be seen faintly written on the worn gel pen. And if you can already tell, this game has major inspirations from Earthbound. Even after a long night, the sunrise is the same as always. On the computer desktop is a folder called Epic Game Stuff. It's a poorly drawn design for a game. Seems like the last boss is a creature with a giant rainbow wings. Doesn't seem like this game ever saw the light of day. Hmm. A cactus. There's not much to say about it. How to draw dragons at the bottom of the drawer. The purple character on the cover is dressed immodestly. Your brother will never return this book. Hmm. It's what they call you. The door is locked. There's no time to read books, just generally. Ha! There's a photo on the fridge. It's you, your mother, and your brother. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. There's some cinnamon, cinnamon batter cake caked on the stove t top. Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. What? It's a trash can. Somehow, it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. It's a landline phone, but you already have a cell phone. It's Cheriel, the beloved living room chair. It's the TV. Looks like it's been plugged in, but it's dusty. Oh, wow, the other chair doesn't get a description? Yeah, let's fake. It's a book of hems. Is that supposed to be Asgore's chair? Why doesn't he get one? God damn. They're divorced in this world too, by the way. It's not yet time to wash your hands. It's a toilet. Flush it? Yeah. You flush the toilet. On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple-scented shampoo and a gallon-sized container of pet shampoo. Ravioli, ravioli, don't lose the goat mama loli. Please stop. Just still so weird, man. Well, shall we go? All right. Off to school. Hey, Susie's actually here. Chris, there you are. Even Susie showed up before you. Hey. What's up? Hey, Chris. You were going to be late. I would have showed up on time. Susie, please don't kick your desk. Treat school property like you treat people. I, that's the wrong thing to say. Next time I'll aim for the vitals. <laughs> you walked into that one. That's, that's not what I, uh... In any case, good morning, class. We have a lot to go over today. First, we're starting the reading from page 142. And any volunteers? You? Yeah. Um, I guess I could read the... Ah, <laughs> the trouble yourself not, Nole. I will... What is that face? I will valiantly take this blow of humiliation. Um, that's okay, I can. Ahem. <laughs> page 142. Was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Oh, uh, um, what's the fuck? What's this book called? Um, shit, I know this book's name. It was in Hey Arnold, where Oscar had to read a book. It was the best, uh, War and Peace, I think, was called? 
Times are pretty good, times are pretty bad. Oh, this is our own. Mediocre times, iffy times, so-so times. Listening to this, your eyes begin to close automatically. Have a nice day, everyone. And please remember your group projects. Sup? Oh, um, uh, Chris, are you okay? You were, uh, sleeping all class. Don't worry, I'm not mad, just concerned. Usually you only sleep through the start. Good luck and rest well tonight, okay? Oh, that's, that's really nice. What's at Susie's desk? Really? Nothing? Looks like motivational quotes from various literature. Try your best, Astral Wolf, even in the darkest hour. That one seems to be from a video game. It's a bunch of roses. Chris, this whole partner thing. You didn't lose sleep over it, did you? Actually, my sleep quality increased. Huh, Chris? That's, um, good, I think? So maybe you were just staying up late talking to Azrael online again? Oh, uh, wait. You can't do that now, right? I, I hope the internet gets fixed soon. I don't want to revert into my primal form. Uh, hmm. The computer wallpaper is updated. The buff embracing heroes are edited to be four inches apart. There's a dialogue about proper distancing at a school dance. You wonder if your mother had some influence on this change. Oh, most definitely. You check the time. It seems to not be time for class. Well, look who it is, the school zombie. You were sleeping like corpse all class. <laughs> What's the matter? Had trouble going Betty by last night? <laughs> Me too, Chris. <laughs> like I could sleep after yesterday. Just waiting for today felt like years. Did all that stuff really happen? Oh, you're making jokes on how technically... Okay, so this is like Psychonauts, where it's like, oh man, it's been days since this happened, where instead of like, shit, the 16 years for that game, this one... Delta Rune came out, the first chapter came out like, what, three years ago? Two years ago? Lancer, Ralse, everyone, are they still... Look. You've been wondering the same thing, right? Yes. Come on already. <laughs> Just, yo. Susie, that face, though. Alright, Chris, this is it. Moment of truth. Everything we've been waiting for just behind this. If we, uh, open this and there's nothing inside, will we still be... Yeah. Screw it. Let's just open it already. Um, Susie? Uh, yeah? No way. Hey. What the hell are you doing here? Um, sorry to bother you, but, um, I... Well, I just... Fionnila and I were going to the library to do some research for our group projects, and... It's okay, um, would you want to come too? Oh, Chris, you can come too, I mean. Uh, I, uh, feel like, uh, busy with, uh... Chris, help me out here. What do you say? <laughs> uh, wait. <laughs> um... This is the truth. This is a lie. But this is what, this seems to be implying something. Let's just, you know, just chilling alone in the closet. Just two friends, chilling out in the closet, like normal. Touching rooms and stuff. Oh, uh, um, well, um, that sounds, um, just... Have fun, you two. I'll, uh, be at the library. Chris, you could bring her by later? It would mean a lot to me. Oh, you have a crush on Susie, don't you? Wait, Chris, what the hell was that? <laughs> Why would Nola ask me to do homework with her? Death Witch much? Does she want to fail? Wait a second. Wait a second, Chris. Do you notice how nervous she was? And like, blushing and stuff? Chris, you don't think she, uh... She's all to her secret identity. She's into you. She's into bad girls, apparently. You know, this dark world stuff. Damn. Yeah, keep this under wraps, Chris. This is our thing, you know? Anyway, enough waiting around. Right. Let's go. Hey, it works. We we back a once a motherfucking again. Can I run? Yes, I can. Let's see, what are the keys again? Oh, that's the quitting button. Oh, I can use X as well. Oh, right, because the guy who made... Toby Fox, right? 
he got his start making ROM hacks, and he made a ROM hack for Earthbound. And I'm guessing that, I believe that was on the, was Earthbound on Game Boy Advance? Or was that a Super Nintendo ROM hack? Either way, like a lot of the common keys that were used when making, um, that were played when the emulators were starting to make their big thing were ASZX. So X is the sprint button. Here we are. Well, say, Chris, Susie, it's been ever so long. Yeah, yeah, it's been, what, a day? Oh, that is short, isn't it? It's just that I've never had friends before. Aww. So I've never wanted, waited long to see them again, either. Oh, you poor little goat. Well, I guess we'll try not to let you die of loneliness. I bet Lancer wants to see us too, right? Hey, wait a second. Where is Lancer? Where's everybody? Worry not, Susie. You'll see them in a moment. Just wait here, all right? Okay. Hey, we're gonna be some kind of prank or something. Chris, I have to ask you. I need you to return to the light world and go to the old classroom to the east of the closet doors. Inside, gather everything on the ground and bring it back here. Could you? Go to the old classroom and bring everything back here. It's where you returned to the light world last time. Head east after you exit the dark world. So, Rase, you're not going to put your hat back on, right? Why? Did I look cuter before? Uh, no, I just mean... You think I look cuter now? It was just nicer seeing you less... Seeing less of you. <laughs> uh... Hey, it's a little Rase, though. No one's looking. Hug the dummy. Oh, hell yeah, hug the dummy. You hug the dummy. Nothing wrong with a little extra fluffiness in your life. Imagine not hugging the goat at the end of... So at the end of Undertale, you can actually go back to the start, and uh, it never may never open again. You can actually go and hug uh, uh, Asriel at the end of the game. So anyone who didn't hug the goat was just choosing the wrong option. Let's just be real here. You always hug the goat. The rubble on the ground seems to have been dusted and polished. Someone around here really cares about the details. Gather all the junk off the floor and turn it into a giant dusty ball. <laughs> Manage to cram everything into the closet, even the rug. The door is locked. Whee! Hey, Chris. So, where is every. One? Oh! Guess who's black, clowns? Lancer! Hey, Chris. Don't what you did, but hell yeah. Everyone's here. But, uh, what happened to, uh, Lancer's castle? All gone. Gone? Right. When Chris sealed the flam, that dark world disappeared. And turned back to the normal classroom. So where's Lancer gonna live now? Don't worry about it, Susie. We'll conquer Rousey's castle on our own. <laughs> Please don't conquer his castle. As you bring Dark uh, Darkwood Dungeon back here, the power of our fountain will transform this town more and more. From now on, the enemies that we spare will be recruited to our town. So let's keep sparing enemies, okay? Oh, so now I have a reason to, to spare enemies. Anyhow, why don't we all have a look around? We head north towards the castle. I have a special surprise to show you there. <laughs> Not if I surprise myself first. Last one there is fresh and fragrant egg. Come on, Chris, you're gonna let us let him beat us? I need to explore. Yo, this guy right here had the absolute best fucking song uh, in the last in the first chapter. Hip hop shop. I have that on my Spotify. Thou hast transpla transplanted us to thine castle towny, and true ye a magnificent this towny of castle it art but ho oh, hmm, something art lacketh it feeleth couldeth thou guys for half this bringeth in an evil ruler or some thingy can you speak like a normal human fucking being i mean you are a monster oh i'm chef lancer try my delicious hand form cookies they're free for a price 
What's the price? Zero dollars. I'll take the cookie. And I'll pronounce you cookie and wife. Lancer cookie as added to your items. Lancer cookies. Want one? Yes. You already took a, tookie, a cookie. Wait, I'm still regenerating from the last one. Hello, welcome to Top Bakery. I am this bakery smith, Malleus. I do not know what any of these strange tools are for, but using my skills, I can fuse items to create new ones. So, bread? What is this technique you speak of? Let's see. So I can fuse burgers together to make a special kind of burger. I can fuse cards. A square charm that increases drop money by 5%. It'll dark burger, double dark burger. It takes two bites to finish. Two ribbons. You had to put your hair into pigtails. A black wrist brand covered in spikes has a tendency to get stuck into itself. A strange blade. Gain 10% more tension from grazing bullets. It seems like Hathi likes this place. She hopes you'll like it too. Mama Miba, welcome to the top bakery. Our special chef spins baked goods at the top of their class. So, it's a clean start for us here. Sup, Kiri? Cafe. Mama Miba, I wanted to run the bakery, but someone already is working there. A cafe that serves pastries. What a disgrace. What sort of humiliating thing will happen next? Wait, let's check recruits. Welcome to the bakery, I wish. Oh, so, shit. Said to be someone's best friend, maybe not. Shout out to you, lazy diamond. A heart with a big heart. A heart with a big heart. Always supporting others uh, with her bullets. A simple organism that takes life one square at a time. A real dusty bunny, known to play dirty but loves to play clean. A shape-changing fighter. Ironically, blocking is not its forte. It cries tears of joy that you are its boss. Obsessed with ranger shows. It lets everyone know it's better than Rundin. Although stronger than Hathi, seems to have fewer friends. So, I'm guessing that if I had done this properly... Huh. I'm guessing if I had transferred the game from the chapter 1, I could have... There's a character that you can get, the secret boss character, that you can beat either by fighting normally, he's tough, or you can uh, beat him by calming him down, or by making, you know, by pacifying him. The jukebox is broken. Feels like it might never work. find a working one. Lemonade, please. Hey, boss. I have a dark candy sorbet. No, you won't. Not for me. Sure, it's great to be here with my best friend, Hathi. Hathi seems fine. Welcome to Chris Town, or I so I heard it was called. Thanks to you, Commander, we've been liberated. I hereby declare today National Ham Sandwich Day of Independence. It's only been a day. The guy always seems like he's enjoying life more than me. Maybe it's because he's a higher level. Party dojo. It's a bed for three people or one three-headed uh three-headed person. Be like that person right there. I'm Battlemaster. Ask me about battles. Cole. We failed to hit our funding goal. I will not talk I will not talk about our hole. Grazing. When shots aim direct uh directly, try to move slowly. They aim where you were, not where you were going. Take advantage and move a bit by bit. And you'll gain TP but won't get hit. So this game, when it comes to battle, you still have your heart that you gotta dodge around with, but there's a concept called grazing. Where if you're close enough to the bullet, you'll get uh, basically extra action points to do stuff. Because you're, you know, living life on the edge. Hitbox. Shots aren't always as they appear. The bigger they are, the less to fear. You'll not only get hurt a little inside. Take your pride and learn the size. Hey, boss. Boss. Hey, I'm so glad to have a nice boss. I can shed a tear. But I won't. I'm on the job. I'll cry at home with the kids. Boss, you're strong, but you always got time to learn. The next step after tutorials is training. So, me and the boys got together a dojo. Complete our battle challenges and get some fabulous prizes. Meanwhile, you might get a little bit tougher. We're, we're gonna make you the strongest, boss. Sure. Jigsaw Joe. Boss. You can act and spare on the same turn. If you know Chris acts will give enemy 100% mercy, spare them on the same turn with Susie or Rossi. Rude. 
damage or buster. God, this song's still good. Defend. Spare tired enemy. Heal out. Defend. Eat him up to earn his life savings. Boss, don't listen to that. That's the wrong axe. The wrong axe. Yo. Shave. Defend. Defend. You shave Jigsaw Joe's stubble. Jigsaw Joe's stubble grew. Oh, that's my one o'clock shadow. Alright, so we gotta shave him. Oh, wait, no, no. We gotta shave him and then spare him. Sparing me? I mean, apparently I get more recruits by sparing, so why not? Wait a second. I got something else to remind you of. Boss, it works the same with making an enemy tired. If an act will make an enemy tired, use Rossley's pacify ability immediately. Sleepy story. And then pacify. So you told the enemy a bedtime story about beating them up. The enemy became tired. Rossley cast pacify. You did it, boss. You can manage to spare enemies right away. Battles will go a lot faster, that's all. An amazing battle. As promised, here's your reward. Your team... <laughs> you had a dollar for life saving, you poor bastard. How can I help you? Ooh, $100 for this. Get 100% TP without getting hit. You can do a boss. Graze challenge. Graze. savings but why are you so poor it's not clover's birthday anymore she won't go easy on you now let's see check here i'm gonna do a single attack and i'll also do a single attack here that's two eight attack two defense two heads are better than one three maybe not See you again. This time you die. Please ignore them. Woo! Topic long. Choose a topic that Clover likes. Let's try sports. That's right. Not bad. It's okay. How well do you know us? You know nothing, idiot. Sorry about this. Yo, 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 yo. Calm down. Thanks, wrong. Is it that bad? Oh wait, you have three heads. Why'd I choose that option? Am I safe right here? Seems like it. You've got cute boys. I mean, you are a female, I guess. Choose something that of interest clover. Awesome. That's right, not bad. It's okay. Nice dojo day. What? It's just awful. Please stop, you two. Okay, there he goes. Spare. Spare. Easy. An amazing battle. As promised, here's your reward. Club sandwich. Hey boss, how can I help you? Got anything new? No, just those three. Wow, our house is a dojo? If you wanna fight. Okay, can we just go to sleep? No. <laughs> it looks like fighting was in the cards for us. Look for you, just hope you don't meet my friends. Finally, a dojo for people that are normal shapes. 
I will trade myself for the tournament. Bow bow. I'm just a block. God, you look horrified. horrific. Hmm. So we are now in the castle town. Well, now. It makes no difference to me. As long as I stay in my shop, these walls won't change. But, in a way, I suppose it's just a little bit amusing to see you again. I'm sure you three will have an interesting journey. Me? I'll just be here offering the same old gem. As you find stronger treasure, I'm sure you'll have a little reason to return here. Whenever you ever have some time, I'll offer you a biscuit and hands. Sure, let's talk. The little prince has something to show you at his castle. Well now, are you going to turn down a royal invitation? Nah. Oh, I can't buy two of these. Too expensive. See you again, or not. <laughs> the castle town has transformed into the power for the power of friendship. You are filled with the power of friendship based architecture. It's a manual. Read a topic. Uh, recruits. If you spare or pass by enough enemies of the same type, they become recruited. Recruits will appear in your town. Wonder what happens if you get them all. You can check the area's recruit status by save points. Excluding uh, certain bosses are excluded, so not all bosses. Oh, so only you need to recruit enough or a few of them. Storage, lantern cookie. Controls. Here's a reminder of the controls. Change them in the config menu. X, confirm, interact with things. O, cancel, hold to run, show all the in-text instantly. Triangle, open the menu. Hold down to quickly skip text boxes. Which triangle? C. C is my triangle. Okay. What are these new things, though? Commands the party with various acts. Dark Knight. Does damage using dark energy. Leader. Dark Prince. Dark World Being has friends now. Aww. <laughs> Two fluffiness. <laughs> 97 sweetness. Uh. Two guts. Two guts. Rudeness 89. Purple. Yes. Those are, yo, those are stats, alright. It's a bit scary moving to a new place, but as a ball, there's nothing to spear itself except. There's nothing to spear except spear itself? Is that what you said? Okay. Prince Ralph say, I'll keep your hat a rack until you need it. Just want to show your huge house off, huh? No? What I want to show you is upstairs. Oh, I really forgot. This is where I cook. You cook everything in a giant witch's pot? Of course. Cauldron cooking is very convenient. Here, Chris, Susie, have a cake. <laughs> Little thing on the frosting. That was for sharing. Hey, anyone, anyone was free to make an, inter an interception. Uh, and come between biting biting teeth. You're crazy. Okay, now make a chocolate one. Why don't we go upstairs first? Nah, fam, I want the cake now. I want the cake, though. Floor two, living quarters. The door is locked. BF, living quarters for bad guys. It's a violently protecting the jail. We're still behind bars for some reason, but it's okay. We've grown to love this hellish place where we dress as animals. We decided to dress as kings. It's a cultural exchange. Oh, there, yeah, there here he is. <laughs> the light nurse. Have you come to humiliate me? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Eat it, old man. Hey, why the hell does he get a giant water thing? Jealous, are you? Take case and envy whelps. As I suckle from the giant hamster bottle. Feel despair. Uh, never mind. Yo, this man just ice skated back. We have nothing to discuss. By the way, is my son happy? Like you care. You were gonna throw him off a cliff. Ah, I just made my bluff too effective, I see. Besides, even if I threw him, he would just bounce. My son is a bouncy little pumpkin. Oh, cute. We're done talking to you. He was gonna throw a son off a cliff to try to win. Calls it a bluff my ass. 
I made rooms for you in the castle. Rooms? So you can stay here whenever you want. Um, I'd be happy if this place could be like a second home to you. A place that you can go no matter what's happening outside. <laughs> well, we'll take a look. Oh, that's so sweet! Why is it just... It's an inverse of my room. How do you know what my room looks like? It's wardrobe full of all sorts of different clothes. You can wear whatever you want. It's a shelf. All sorts of keepsakes can be put here. It's a stand for your manual. I thought you might want to keep it here in case you want to read it. It's your bed. It feels incredibly soft, like sleeping on a dream. It's so spiky! And Susie, this is your room. Um, I tried to make something you'd like, but you can put anything else you want in here, too. I really hope you like it. My own room, huh? I uh, guess that's pretty cool. My own room, like this. How long did it uh, take you to do this? Well, uh, since I last saw you two, I... Man, you're a real weenie, you know that? Oh, she loves it. I think she likes it, Chris. Ah, uh, Jealous, I got the cool room. Look, Chris. Cool, spike bed. Now I can stab myself during the night. Finally, some convenience. Oh, this game is a delight. An absolute delight. Damn, there's even everything in here. Pine cones, chalk, moss, jars of salsa, pieces of ice, black crumbs from the toaster, jawbreakers. Oh, and like actual food too. So you didn't get the route to read the manual, so I put it over here for you. I'll read it before bed. That'll put me to sleep. Shots. It's closed drawer full of spiky and dangerous clothes. All the clothes are ripping each other up into shreds. Hell yeah. Jealous, Chris? Y yeah. And here's Lancer's room. It's a hole made for recreational purposes. There's salsa buried in the ground here. You found 20 rupees in the hole. Unfortunately, that's not a useful currency here. It's a, some kind of digging implement. A trowel. It's a hole. Presumably dung for fun. Wow, it's better than I remember. I even have my own bed now. Now I don't have to sleep in a hole anymore. I thought you already had a bed. No, that was for the bike. You had a bed for your bike? Lancer, you're not gonna believe how sick my room is. A room as sick as you? Whoa, I wanna see. I'll keep digging holes until I reach your room. Please, uh, it's got a door, you know. A door? Wow, peachy boy, you went all out. What the fuck? Here, I'll say, what's up there? Oh, just more rooms I'm renovating. So, is your room up there? Uh, yes. I still, um, haven't dusted it, though. Yeah, I think we need to see your nerdy glasses collection anyway. So what do we do now? Look for you to explore the town until you're ready to leave. Ha! <laughs> thought we were gonna leave now, right, Chris? Yo, I want that chocolate cake, though. I want the chocolate cake now. How about a strawberry cake as a room warning gifts? There's a slice of cake in your fridge, Susie. But it's not cauldron fresh. Doors locked. Anything new to talk to? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, hello. Oh, it's quite a wonderful town, really. Thank you. So, uh, why am I alone here? A bit of self-reflection, I suppose. I do realize I'm quite a coward before, so I wanted to say, well, I still am. My cards, I can't handle this, uh, society. For now, I'll be living at the top of this cliff. So when I'm ready to meet society again, I'll be back. Thank you. Thank you for your wonderful home. I will not use it. Okay, then. There's a hole in the wall. There's nothing inside. Just gonna just float away. All right. Hello. <laughs> Mr. Society left, didn't he? I reckon I knew that this would happen. It's not no fault of yours. He'll be back one day. Nah, man, we live in it. Without trees, I must gain new trees by eating clothes. So it's just the way of the worm. 
Looks like the clothes are nibble. Take a bite. Sure. You put your mouth against the mannequin's cheek. Chris? Chris? Don't bother. It tastes awful. And Susie? I like being like this. Don't tell anybody. I won't judge, man. So both of them have kissed them or eaten the mannequin now. I won't judge. Wait, Chris, we're leaving. But we just got here. Man, I don't want to go and do our group project. Come on. Oh, you two have homework? Uh, well, Susie, Chris, you will do it right away. School's important. I banish you from this kingdom until you start your project. Ugh, fine, I'll do it, jeez. Susie, don't worry. I'll go and help you, too. Uh, wait, Lancer, perhaps you shouldn't... Too late. Kind boy. Friendship form. Lancer was added to your key items. What? Where'd you go? Don't worry. I'm just into your inventory. I'll just be hanging out in Chris's pocket. Don't know what that means, but okay. Fear not. I too shall assist this. Uh, we're good. <laughs> Quite. We as a team aren't good. Rolex became a key item, even though no one wanted that. Alright, enough already. Let's get going. Come on, let's go to our school project. Good luck today, Chris. See you soon. What a kind little goat boy. Well, damn. That's the guy to do our project. Sigh. He's got Lancer, right? Lancer? Where'd you are you? Damn, guess he skipped out after all. Huh. Mm. So where should we do this? The library. What? The library? Ugh, well, alright. What's my ball of junk and you looked at the ball junk ball in admiration. Nothing happened. You held the cards. They felt flimsy between your fingers. Cards, the Jack of Spades, and the Rules card. A ball of junk, a small bale of accumulated things in your pocket. You are the water fountain, it's lukewarm. Locker, it's locked. This tutorial is written in cursive on the dry erase board. It seems like it hasn't been erased in a very long time. It's a poster of several basic shapes. Circle, oval, square, hyper, do, decahedron. Kids books. Some of them used to be yours. It's a primitive drawing of your mom. The throne of the gods grows higher. Is this hubris? Yo, that looks like a real comfy mat. Wait. A B C D E A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z A E A B. Oh, and then it just repeats. Okay. Make sure it wasn't anything weird. I wonder if uh, Toriel's still here. Nope, she went home. The locker is covered in Jockington memorabilia. Are you ready for the Sadie's Hawkins dance? At this dance, all the chaperones wear giant hawk heads and screech at any student that makes contact while dancing. I, I don't think, you know, I went to a school function like that. I don't think that's what happened at a... Why is it called a Sadie's Hawkins dance? I heard a dog was doing donuts, so I sped over here. But I just learned donuts is actually the name of a special attack for cars. Why is my life stuck in a loop of doughy disappointment? Traffic's moving at a snail's pace. I love snails. Would today get any better? Looks like a car. Looks like a car. Damn. I was just directing track as normal. But a little dog drove one of those toy cars into the middle of the street and startled, started doing donuts. In the chaos, all the cars in town got jammed up. Thankfully, no one was hurt, but ordinary citizens like you gotta get out of here. I've got some heavy lifting to do. You know, you'd, you'd make more progress if you, like, move the cars instead of just bench. You know what? I won't judge. Alright, we're here. It's cool. Goddamn project. Books. Goddamn crazy about them. 
Hey, Chris. Where the hell is everybody? Something seems kind of off. Screw it. Let's just play Space Pinball in the computer lab. Huh? It's like... The inside of the closet? Chris, you don't think this could be... Another Dark World? Well, I guess that means we can't start our projects. Unless, you know, Chris, if there's a dark fountain in there, you can seal it, and it'll turn back into the computer lab, right? So what's it gonna be, Chris? You can use the computer at my house. Chris, you're right. Like you said, a correct fact. But you made a mistake. The mistake of knowing me. Because when I see a big pit, all I want to do is jump in. And as long as you're with me, I'm dragging you in too. Come on, Chris. Are we gonna get different forms? Or are we still gonna have the same one? Okay, same form still. Three point landing. This is new. Rules cars jumped out of your pocket. How. Dad acrobatic? You tried to call on the cell phone. It's nothing but garbage noise. Why is Lancer literally dancing around in my pocket? Whee! I can't come back up there. Excuse me. The wires. The wires. Ow. Okay. That was greedy of me. Everyone was... Everyone else has been. Save us. She's going to. Somebody help me. Riley! Somebody please. Susie? Cool that you're here, just... Wait, get out of here before she's too late. <laughs> Hell of a study session. Who the hell are you? I'm known as the serial number Q5U4EX7YY2E9N. But you fool, church may call me. Queen. Ha! <laughs> I'm ready to call you Queen. Q5U37, uh. Queen! Well, look, Queen, we're not children. Teens are mentally bigger children, and adults are even bigger children. Not wrong. Look at me. I'm an adult playing this child's game effectively. You bet? Doesn't that make you a child too, then? No, I am a computer. Smart. Computer. Well, thank you for this study lab, but I must leave now. Goodbye. Wait, wait! Why'd you capture Noli? I would have captured you too, but I ran out of cages. Why the, Why the capturing? So that she may become my willing peon. In my quest for world domination. Also, maybe I'll make her face into a robot one. What? Why? Seems cool. Well, forget it, dude. No one's turning anyone's face into a robot. Could that be a statement of unnet of aminous dissension? Huh? You want to fight, loser? Yes, yes already, yes. Okay, then bye. Wait, a <laughs> goddamn second. I have no time for this uh, reality, and we'll kick your ass. Perhaps someone else could entertain you. Okay. Enjoy your assimilation. Oh, I didn't heal. Toss Chris to free wire. Aw, oh, shit. Missed.
Got one. Why are Gray loses? Oh, why I gotta do it more? Life is not good. I didn't get a chance to heal. Oh, okay, okay. Just do it. Just keep dodging. Just keep dodging. I'm gonna spare you. Uh, actually, um, let's jiggle, jiggle, and spare you. You jiggle the body. The wire loosen the turn. Oh, so I gotta do it to six of you. Got it. and spare. I need to heal, please. Whew. Nice Friday again after so long. Let's go catch up with Queen. And there's more of you. Or not. Huh? Calm down. <gasps> I used my pacify spell to put them into sleep mode. Rasa, you're here. How are you here? I felt a dark presence is hurrying over. It seems like a, a new dark fountain has appeared. But I'll say, they got Nole. Damn, what was she thinking messing on our dark world? If we don't do something, she might be... Worry not, Susie. All we need to do is seal the fountain. Yeah, yeah. Can't be mad about another adventure, right? Come on, Chris. I don't know why, but that pose for each of these characters is just perfect. We got... Chris doing the whole badass arms crossed looking to the distance like I I'm too cool to look towards the camera. Go we got Susie doing the alright, let's fucking go. And then we got Ross doing an I'm an incredibly adorable pose. I'm not sure if I like him more with or without the hat though. is just a match class of music. Well, I guess I got new music that I'm going to be adding to my a green field extends for you. In the distance, the city shines brightly. You are filled with the power of a new adventure. Not yet fully activated. I would like a place to. Oh, okay, I didn't get that guy. Bring it! Defend here. Shit, I'm bad at this game. I just want to get enough on um, chest. We open the treasure chest inside. Low wrist. Low wrist of that is here in armors. I had amber cards. I could have. Damn it. Ah, whatever. I could have combined the amber cards that were in my current inventory. Oh well. So it seems like this game could be more about. So it seems like so far the entire concept of going into different dark worlds and sealing them off. You know what? I'm fine with that. Road trip with friends.
<laughs> oh, Chris, it's a free edible psych uh, cyberpedia. I had an entry. Ross wrote an article about losing recruits. Read it. Yes. From now on, defeating enemies with bonds will make them lost. Lost enemies cannot become recruits ever again. But the bonds you break may make you stronger. Chris, you want to reread my. So, wait. So, my thought process is to recruit enough people. Yes. From now on, Ralsei drools. Susie rules. I remember writing that. Wait, I didn't read what Susie said. From now on, Ralsei drooled. Yup. I remember writing that. Yeah, you did. So, wait, I want to know can I. Recently, something called internet is having an outage. Someone, some say it was the secret uh, queen's know-it-all, know-how. Since then, it seems like she's been quite extreme. Task. Oh, like, Taras task. Okay. What does Roar do? That's how you have you defend. Susie roared. The enemy became tired. Who's king of the jungle now? It's just a cat. Meow, meow, meow. Yo, give me those grazing points. Heading. Defend. Pacify. You. You can pet the trash. I like that. So it seems like it's the game saying, hey, ow. You need to recruit enough of them. And then you're good to go, I think? So as long as I recruit enough of the certain enemies, right, I should be good. Lightners, I haven't seen many of you recently. If you didn't know, an evil ruler is taking over this world. I don't really like politics, so I have no opinion on this. You know what? That's probably one of the smartest things anyone has ever said. Staying out of politics is always a good idea. You vote for who you want to vote for, and then you just don't share it because of just the infighting. <gasps> no way! No way, honey. Become my willing peon, and I will free you. All you need to do is hit yes on the peon release form. I am. I'm scared. Oh, have you never s signed a form before? No? It's everything else that's scary. Please abort your sadness protocol. I told you, being a peon will be cool. No way! Susie, Chris? Don't worry. We won't let you forget uh, your face roboticized. That's something they're gonna do? Oops. Thought, uh, you knew that. Oh dear, that was supposed to be a surprise. Oh well. Wait! It was quite troubling. A peon must be willing to assist me in world domination. If only she had a fellow peon to encourage her. So... So, like... You guys. Hey! Are you, like... Doing anything right now? You aren't gonna help you! What are these faces? <laughs> Understood. My chain of protocol necess necessitated. Yo! Yo! A giant arcade game? I shall humiliate a simple, at a simple child's discretion. With your self-esteem eradicated, there will be no choice but to serve me. Hell, I've never played this one before. Chris is quite good at games, aren't they? Yeah, Chris. You get you were a nerd. Show her. Ow. But I don't wanna. Oh, of course there's a barrier. Chris, I bet you're very good at games, aren't you? Gaming is my life! Wow, Chris, your passion is amazing. That's the most monotone response I've heard in my life. You got this, Chris. We're the good guys, right? All we had to do is figure out a way to cheat. can't pro-game while facing this direction, why not? Oh Chris, congratulations on losing horribly. I advanced my eternal clock to when I've already won. Also, happy birthday, Susie. Happy birthday. It's not my birthday. You tried to use the arcade machine. You weren't tall or strong enough to use the controls. Self-esteem eradication completes. Running lab protocol. Why do all evil villainous women all laugh like that, man? Uh, um, it's okay, Chris. Uh, I'm short, too. Chris? Wait, I have an idea. Chris, if we combine our powers, then look! I'll show you what I've been practicing. Magic Stool, stool Form R! Now we're talking! Alright, Chris, leave it to me. 
put your arms out. Oh, Toby Fox, you absolute fucking madman. Move your arms and I'll move with you. Let's go. Oh no! Incredible. Your transmission is combining all your weak points. Self-esteem crushing efficiency, 300% and rising. Commence virtual combat. Yo, what are we play? Street Fighter? Oh, punch out! Yo, it's punch out! Ow! Out of here, nerd! <laughs> Thought you could beat us. Regal laughter. Oh, my, that was actually quite amusing. Your life forms have speed exceeded my expectations. I will offer you a new, exceedingly benevolent compromise. Assimilate into my cyber army, and there is only a 50% chance I'll reprogram your face. Please select your choice: perish in the chill of absolute destruction, or flourish under the warm bosom of my hellish resign. Oh, rain. I I'll perish. Thank you. They don't even sit so enthusiastically. Alright, uh, Queen, aren't you... Are there any other options? Yes, you can also Mega Perish. Yeah, no. Perishing Bites. You could say it Mega Bites. Did you get out of here already? Understood. Permanent setting set to Perish. I mean, both of them are nice, but I'm not gonna, like, let you reprogram my face. I kinda like it. Come on, let's go after her. Right after I go the other direction that I didn't go the first time. I think you should handle this puzzle. Nice. Looks like you got past Newbert's force field. Newbert doesn't know how that force field got there, but it's Newbert's force field. Surprise, have Newbert's treasure. Newbert doesn't know what's inside. But Newbert will give it to you. Thanks. Go over the treasure chest. Inside was a fiber scarf. Weapons. Let's give that to obviously you. Basic scarf made of light magical fiber. Cuteness up. Nice. That's Newbert's treasure. Remember, you're just barring it. Forever. Okay. I can't tell you how many of these I've cleaned up. Looks like the gamer paradise has become a gamer's hell. Alright, I think for right now though, wait, let me check out our time so far. The game is wrecked. You're filled with the power of video game violence. <laughs> yeah, I think for right now that's a pretty good place to stop. So, right now this has the same energy as the first chapter of, Del of Delta Room. It also makes me want to play the first chapter and transfer my save files over. Now that I know that sparing people is a concept. It wasn't really a concept you had to do in the last game, but now I want to. Either way, I want everyone out there have a good morning, evening, day, or night, whatever you're at. But for right now, I'm out. Later.